Hey everybody, Jesse Showalter here. Today I'm gonna to do like a three minute tutorial on how to get some basic parallax scrolling implemented on an already existing site. We're gonna use a little plugin today called Stellar, uh, Stellar JS, and uh, just a little simple jQuery, and really we're only gonna to touch like five lines of code to a pre-existing little project, all right? So uh, how to get some simple parallax going with Stellar JS. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Simple background parallax scrolling in like three minutes. Ready, set, go. Um, over here at our website, we have a real basic page set up that has photo areas and then big white containing elements, okay? And that structure just repeats itself down the page. But it just scrolls really normal. It's not exciting. It's not parallaxy right now. So let's make it parallaxy. To do that, we're gonna go do a little search for Stellar JS. And we'll probably find this gentleman's page that has the plugin on it. And if we click on to the download button, it'll take us to the GitHub repo. We're gonna download the zip file. We're gonna come over to our project and we're going to um, install or implement jQuery and the Stellar plugin. And we do that really simple by dropping in these two tags, okay? Really simple, standard stuff. You got jQuery running and you have the minified version of Stellar running. Okay. Then if you look at the documentation, it's going to tell us that we need to initialize it. I'm going to go ahead and do it on the window, which is real simple. If you don't know what that means, just copy along. Okay, big whoop. We're going to drop um, this into a script tag. Okay, so real simple. Drop that right there. We're going to save that page. The next thing the documentation is going to tell us as we scroll down this fantastic documentation is we're looking for parallax background, okay? So we're gonna take this data attribute, okay, that they've they've worked around with their jQuery, and we're gonna implement that on any section that we want to do parallax scrolling. So that's all our photo sections. So we got this photo section, three photo sections, I'm gonna press save. The last thing you gotta do if you read the instructions says make sure that each of those CSS elements have background attachments set to fixed. So if we go over to our style, we can see every section has a background attachment set to fixed, okay? And we're gonna go back to our website, press refresh, and as we start to scroll down the page, ooh, parallaxy. It's so trendy, it's so cool. The power of parallax in about 11 kilobytes zipped and three minutes of work. Go check it out yourself, go have some fun. Later.